Good morning, friends. It's great to be with you this Thursday morning. And as you know, Thursdays are Thursday Pray Day. So I want to encourage you, grab your hot coffee, grab your hot tea. Let's dive into God's Word together. We're going to be in Psalm 45 as we pray through a prayer for awakening. I really believe that God wants to awaken our hearts to some of the realities of who we were created to be. And that's part of what our prayer is going to be this morning. So as always, if you have any prayer requests this morning for yourself personally or friends and loved ones, would you please type those into the comment section there? And when you see one of those prayer requests come across, please be sure to reply so that we can let folks know that we're praying for them. If you're tracking with us on the podcast, you can always send in your request to biblecast at tfc.org. And I want to also encourage you, would you take just a minute this morning and share the Biblecast? If you're on the podcast or if you're watching it on Facebook Live, whatever it is that you like, would you please just share it? It's a great way for us to just get out the love of Jesus to those that we care about. All right, here we go. We're going to be going in Psalm 45. This is a beautiful psalm talking about Jesus and our relationship with Him. And uh, it's just a, a beautiful thing. So let's dive in to this psalm together. Here we go, Psalm 45. It says, Beautiful words stir my heart. I will recite a lovely poem about the king, for my tongue is like the pen of a skilled poet. What a beautiful thing. So, Father, we're just thankful, and we're thankful that Jesus is our king. We're thankful that you have given us such a beautiful, wonderful, awesome Savior, and that we love him so much. And, Father, I'm just thankful that you have given us a tongue with which we can express our affections, we can express our love, we can express our appreciation. We can express just the joy that it is that we can have a relationship with you and that, that it comes through our King, that comes through Jesus. And Father, I thank you that it's just so amazing that you desire, Jesus desires, Holy Spirit desires, you, you desire a personal relationship with each one of us. That It is, it is a thing of, of great personal interest to you to have an intimate relationship with each and every one of us. So Father, this morning, we just come to you and we settle ourselves. I just want to encourage you this morning. We settle our spirits this morning at your feet. Even as we're going about getting ready on this cold, snowy day and uh, you know, making plans for the day, Father, we just settle in to, to you and the relationship that you want to have for us and with us. <clears throat> it says, You are the most handsome of all. Gracious words stream from your lips. God himself has blessed you forever. Yes, Jesus, you are the most handsome of all. And guys uh, who are on this uh, along with me, you know, this is one of those Bride of Christ things, right? So we need to get into this. Uh, this is just a recognition of who Jesus is. So you are the most gracious. Your words that stream from your lips. We love you this morning, Jesus. We just express our love to you and we're thankful for you. Now, here we get to it. Put on your sword, O mighty warrior. You are so glorious, so majestic. So Jesus, that is what we ask. There is so much injustice and unrighteousness that is happening in our world. We ask that you would put on your sword. We ask that this would be a time of you coming in and judging the things that are against us, judging the things that are coming against us relationally, that are coming against us as a family. Those things there where we're trying to break through, where we're trying to get through to the other side, where we know that the enemy is holding up the blessing, the provision, the grace that is intended and allotted for us. We're asking right now, O oh mighty warrior Jesus, will you put on your sword and judge the enemies that stand against us? Judge the enemies that stand against our culture. Judge the enemies that stand against our nation. Judge the enemy that is standing against the peoples of this world. Jesus, we just pray and we're so thankful for your, your majesty. And we know one day we're going to see you riding on your white horse coming in as you make your great and triumphant return. But in that meantime, between now and then, we ask that you would come and fight on our behalf, that you would show us where the battle is ourselves. It says, in your majesty, ride out to victory, defending truth, humility, and justice. Go forth and perform awe inspiring deeds. <clears throat> your arrows are sharp piercing your enemies' hearts. The nations fall beneath your feet. And that's what we pray for, Jesus. We just pray for your justice to be done. And we pray for an awakening to come, an awakening of who you are, an awakening of what truly is right, an awakening, a, a raising up of the banner of truth and justice and righteousness, a, a raising up and where the enemy is coming in like a flood. We just pray for an awakening in our nation, an awakening in our cities, an awakening in this world, the likes of which have never been seen before in all of humanity. We pray for a great awakening as the enemies 
fall beneath your feet. The enemies of perversion, the enemies of injustice, the enemies that, uh, of the Antichrist that comes against who you are. We ask for just arrows to fly from heaven and for there to be a great defeat as we stand with you. you are th <clears throat> your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. You rule with a scepter of justice. You love justice and hate evil. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you, Jesus, pouring out the oil of joy on you more than anyone else. And I'm so thankful that you have that oil of joy and that it comes out of your love, uh, how you love justice and hate evil. And that's what brings your source of joy. And so, Father, I just ask that we could even tap into that ourselves this morning. That as we stand for injustice and as we stand against the evils of our time, that you would pour out that same oil of joy that was on Jesus, that you would pour it into our hearts. Holy Spirit, let us just be carriers of the joy of the Lord. Let us just be carriers of that joy that comes as we stand in your, in your uh, stand our ground, empowered by you and encouraged by the joy that you give each and one of us. Each one of us, myrrh, aloes, and cassia perfume your robes. In ivory palaces, the music of strings entertains you. <clears throat> King's daughters are among your noble women. At your right side stands the queen wearing jewelry of the finest gold uh, from afar. Now, obviously, this is referring to an actual king's daughter, but we see it in the same metaphor. This is us as the bride of Christ. It says, listen to me, O royal daughter. Listen to me, each one of you. Take, your heart, take to heart what I say. Forget about your people and your family that are far away. For your royal husband delights in your beauty. Honor him, for he is your Lord. So, Father, we do. We, we recognize that where we are, even as we've been in this series of outliers, we're outliers in this culture. There are friends, there are family, there are those who are maybe even going in a different direction, but we are going with you. We are connected to you. We are your bride. We are your people. We are your uh, family, and we stand with you. And we're so thankful that you love us and you provide for us, and you do. You clothe us with, with beauty. You provide everything that we need. So this morning, we just celebrate who you are, and we just declare we will stand with you, for we are yours. We are yours. We are your family, and we're so thankful that you have taken us all in. <clears throat> and so we stand with you as you bring about your justice. It says, the princess of Tyre will shower you with gifts. The wealthy will beg your favor. A, the bride, a princess, looks glorious in her golden ground, gown. In her beauty ro beautiful robes, she is led to the king, accompanied by bridesmaids. What a joyful and enthusiastic procession is they enter the king's palace. And thank you, Father, that we can. We can come right in to your palace as, as the bride of Christ, as those who are in love with you, Father, and with Jesus and Holy Spirit. We can come right in to your royal palace. Now look at this. Your sons will become like king, kings like their father. You will make them rulers over many lands. Jesus, I thank you that we are seated with you in heavenly places. We are seated along with you as your family, as your sons and daughters. We are seated with you there. And so you have called each one of us. So I pray that we would be equipped this morning to be those that are ruling and reigning here on the earth as the lowercase kings that you have called each one of us to be. We're so thankful for the provision of love that you give, the provision of grace and wisdom. <clears throat> but I ask now for strength. I ask for courage to come to each one of us, that we would be a people who are standing for you and are carriers of your love and grace in, an, in a season where it just seems like so much of the world is against the things that are of you. So we stand with you. <clears throat> it says, I will bring honor to your name in every generation. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. And that's where we are this morning, Father. We just declare, just even as the psalmist is saying here, that we will bring honor to your name. And we declare over every generation, the Abrahams, the Isaacs, the Jacobs, and those that are to come, that we will just stand and bring honor to your name. So Holy Spirit, strengthen us today. Empower us today. Give us wisdom today. Give us strength today. Give us courage today. <clears throat> Give us hope today. And God, we just ask for the great awakening in our region, the great awakening in our country, the great awakening in this world, where people recognize that they need you to connect to you. And that is where their hope is. And that is where their joy is found. And we declare it this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Well, it's been great to be with you guys this morning. Can't wait to see you this weekend. We love y'all. We love y'all. <laughs> Have an amazing day.
God bless.